even though it was a pitch black world where nothing could be seen, for some reason I felt bad house presence next to me. So I tried calling out to her. You can exchange words with someone, whether they're a human or a witch. So even in a world where witches have been denied, I should be allowed to talk to her. Beto. Battler, is it? It is done. I did it. Yeah, I didn't hear it, but I watched you until the very end. I definitely saw you boldly stand up to that evil witch. With this, I am no longer a witch, but I will definitely become a witch again. And then, I will make it so that I can be called the Golden Witch again. And once again, return so that I can be accepted as your opponent. No, you were a witch. Huh? <laughs> I saw it. When you took that evil witch and blew her away with that awesome magic exposing her true form, I saw it with my own eyes. That wasn't magic, but the red... No, it was magic. You were definitely the Golden Witch. Even if you deny it yourself, I'll acknowledge it. You are definitely the Golden Witch. When Batwar said those words, in the world that had been dark, there was suddenly a single grain. A small grain of gold, like a wheat seed, shone brightly. And even though it was small, it had a strong gold-colored sparkle. Fuck is this? Then it shone on the two of them, sitting with their backs together. So they each became aware of their own form. They did not exist only as consciousness. They became aware that they had bodies and definitely existed. No, perhaps we should say that they each had been given an existence called a body. When Batwir looked at his own form, he wasn't that surprised. But when Beata looked at her own form, she was a little startled. From Batwir's perspective, she looked just like normal. But for a short while, she was surprised by that form. What is going on? The sparkle from that grain of light is slowly getting stronger. That grain of wheat was no longer simply gold-colored, but was like the light of the sun. Then it softly began to approach Beato's chest. When that grain of the sun was sucked inside her chest... The world was wrapped in a deep blue sky, and then a deep blue ocean was spread out below them. Huh? Okay, that's Rokunjima. That's the forest. An island rose up. Trees sprouted and created a forest. Walls surrounded us and a ceiling swallowed us. Ah, it's this room. <laughs> and was adorned with more and more things, made to be like the Holland Yushiromiya Mansion. In the middle of the fantastical hall where many gold butterflies beat their wings, many tables were set up with white tablecloths like it was a party. And beautiful cooking and fruits were set out. And over there were a great many shapes. It was everyone talking together and smiling. Everyone. Is it actually a- Oh shit! There was Dad and Kyrie, Uncle Krauss, Aunt Natsuhi, and Aunt Rosa, and of course, even Aunt Eva and Uncle Hideyoshi. Those fucking culprits. George, Jessica, Maria, wait, wait, even Shannon, Cannon, Goda, and Kumasawa are here. But not Genji or Kinto. <laughs> Everyone, everyone was at the party, clapping their hands and celebrating our return. Oh, Genji is here. <laughs> and Nanjo, I forgot about him too. Hi, Goda. It's been a while. Eep, you are alive! Yay. Wahoo. Waha! Why? Even though everyone was dead, why are they alive? In the Golden Land, the souls of all the dead can be revived. Welcome back, Beatrice. And welcome, Battler. Welcome to the Golden Land. Oh, they made it to the Golden Land. <laughs> and their wishes were to revive all the dead souls and that? My god. I made it? I made it. To the door of the Golden Land? Yes. Milady, you have finally managed to invite everyone here. Welcome, Battler, to the Golden Land. Oh, hi, Kinzo. <laughs> Battler. Ah! <laughs> So you have finally made it this far. <laughs> oh shit! Your grandfather! Where in the world am I? My blood, which is incompatible with magic, runs most deeply in your veins. Therefore, you are the only one who could not reach the Golden Land, and Beatrice has been searching for you this whole time. She tried everything to bring you here. What did you say? Batwer? Batwer, if you would take your seat. Tonight's dinner is my very best work. 
If you would, please relish it. <laughs> Bells <laughs> Hi, Belzebub. You should be honored. Normally I would have eaten all of it, but I left you some out of gratitude. <laughs> the Seven Stake Sisters. In the Golden Land, all of those with minds are equal. Here, there's no distinction between us furniture, humans, and witches. Oh, that's cool. Uh... Oh, that's Shannon, probably. That word, we were waiting for you. Welcome to the Golden Land. Shannon, George! I still feel like this might be a dream. You should have died. But I'm alive. And everyone, everyone is here and happy. I can't believe it. That's right, this place must be a dream world. So it must be a dream that George is acting so friendly with a maid girl. <laughs> Could you give it a rest, Eva? <laughs> For now, you've got to stay quiet and bless the two youngins. The Golden Land is a city of bliss. We should never quarrel here. Uh, you were mammon, I think. Here, any people are free to love each other. No one needs to hesitate over it. And Asmodeus, I think? Jessica, Cannon, you look so wonderful. I'm jealous. <laughs> hey, Batwer, I'm a little, um... <laughs> Batwer, welcome. And welcome home. Jessica was probably embarrassed because she was holding hands with Cannon. <laughs> Cannon wanted to act humbly like a servant and bow, but since neither of them could let go of the other's hands, he couldn't do it so well, and the whole scene looked fairly comical. <laughs> with a servant child? You can't! Our Jessica cannot do such a thing! It's hardly a big deal, correct? Let her at least choose the person she likes. She can't! She can't! Ah, Jessica! So is this after the first game? You can't either, George! As Aunt Nazi and Aunt Eva hugged each other, they cried tears of regret for their adorable children. <laughs> Even though they had always been at odds. It was a very bizarre scene. <laughs> it isn't really a problem, right? It doesn't, it doesn't matter who likes who. That's right. It's proof that a parent's too attached to their child. <laughs> that were... <laughs> No matter what kind of woman you bring home, I'll give her a warm welcome, okay? Don't, don't you dare introduce her to this man, okay? He'll get his hands on her immediately. They'll run off together right away. <laughs> oh shit, hi. Battler, you finally came here. <laughs> uh, Maria. From the very beginning, you knew we'd be coming here? So this is after the first game, right? Maybe? I don't fucking know. Eh. That's why I wasn't scared at all. Everyone was being a coward and trembling. It was funny. What the hell? Even though I thought you were the most screwed up, you actually knew the truth from the beginning. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the Chiesters are here, too. How rude. I said we cannot forgive you for speaking of Lady Maria in that way. Okay, make it all caps, why don't you? Formulating firing curve. Attack preparations ready. Lady Maria, we can attack at any time. Are they hers now? What the fuck? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Hi, Genji. Be quiet. You are in the presence of Beatrice. <laughs> Come now, no need to be so stiff. Let's be considerate of their desire to joke around and have fun. More importantly, why don't we begin preparing for the toast? Yes, preparations for my excellent mackerel cooking are complete. I can serve it at any time. And Satan, I think? Hey, you people, work a little more like furniture. Oh, you were alive again. Good job, Leviathan. No, I'm gonna stuff myself some more. Ah. <laughs> and you're alive too, yay. Come on, let's work. Don't keep the guests waiting. Let's work, stu let's work studiously and attend to them. Don't let the guests do anything. Make them lazy, make them slothful, fatten them like pigs. <laughs> okay, Belfajor. Beatrice? Battler? This way? Grandfather and Virgilia were standing on the landing at the top of the staircase, beckoning to us. Beato and I turned our heads to see what was going on, then climbed the stairs together. From the hall, it looked like a very high stage. A small table had been set up there, as well as a piece of parchment and an old-fashioned quill pen. I saw that strange magical characters in Japanese were written side by side, and below it many names were written. There were 17 of them. 
grandfather was the first and everyone's names had been signed all over it. The people who arrived at the Golden Land probably signed us one after another. Battler, now that you are here, everyone is gathered. Listen carefully. The Golden Land is not a world supported by the power of magic alone. The cooperation and approval of all humans who receive happiness here is required. For that sake, we must gather the signatures of everyone here. Last time, the door to the Golden Land was finally opened, but you refused to sign. Although you probably don't remember it. Because you refused to sign, this world was once again sealed in darkness. Just hearing it like that, it kinda sounds like I'm the only stubborn one, and that I've been a bother to everyone in various ways. Yeah, this has to be the first, right? Because Jessica and Eva didn't die in the third game. Oh shit, everyone's alive. Hi! Aloha! Okay. Cool. That's because your stubbornness is the real deal. It seems you received more than just blood from Kinzo. Beto laughed amiably. I should have felt like she was making fun of me, but without thinking, I went along with her, laughing and smiling. Magic is a miracle. Miracles cannot be made complete unless everyone believes. And when you believed in the end, this miracle of the Golden Land was completed. Looks like I've been a real pain. So, what should I do? Pull over, Joey. First sign here. Then Beatrice, you sign here. Cool pens are pretty hard to use, huh? Well, it's shot! You klutz. Shooting ink is a bad omen. Can't you at least write your name quickly? Your pen's wriggling all over the place like a worm. Oh. <laughs> You should talk. Don't write it in katakana. Beatrice is a stylish name, so write it in cursive. You're making the quill and your name cry. <laughs> Shut up! In school, didn't they teach you not to use cursive on tests? Hey, this is a solemn ceremony. Be quiet. Very well. We have gathered the two signatures as well as the form for the covenant. Both of you, your oath, please. Let's we'll start with Beatrice. Put your hand on the covenant and take the oath. As a good witch, Beatrice swears to continue her studies from this point forth to bring happiness to the people. Say it. <laughs> In indeed. It's a little embarrassing. As a good witch, Beatrice swears to continue her studies from this point forth to bring happiness to the people. Will that do? Acceptable. Battler is next. In the same way, Battler, put your hand on the covenant and take the oath. As a member of the Golden Land, Ushiro Miyabatler swears to serve for the sake of his own happiness and that of his neighbor. Ah. As a member of the Golden Land, Ushiro Miyabatler swears to serve for the sake of his own happiness and that of his neighbor. I'm embarrassed too. Uh, listen everyone. Here and now we have got- It's probably for Julia. Listen everyone. Here and now we have gathered the oaths of all 18 humans who accept the Golden Land. Oh, that was Kinzo. Sorry, I had a frog in my throat. When Kinzo proclaimed that, everyone applauded at once, praising us. Since I had been the only stubborn one and had been just and had just been a pain, I felt a little bad about being the most celebrated one. And with that, in accordance with the ancient rites, we ask Battler, who last to make the oath, to sign the invitation to the Golden Man. This is something that invites the Golden Witch Beatrice to the Golden Man. The Golden Witch becomes the Golden Witch. <laughs> Wait, the Golden Land welcomes the Golden Witch through a consensus of those who have acknowledged it, and it comes complete. Battler, I will read it out loud. Listen carefully. The 18 of us accept Beatrice as the Golden Witch and welcome her to the Golden Land. That's... What's going on with you? You won't be invited unless I send an invita invitation? That does seem to be the ceremony. It feels stiff even to me. Why don't we end it quickly? I've been so hungry for a while now. Come to think of it, I've only been pecking at canned food and haven't eaten anything good. Let's quickly finish this signing. What's this? I acknowledge you as a witch. Huh? That's pretty simple. Damn you, Grandfather, exaggerating it so much. Oh, shit. Oh, God, Virgilia, what? I didn't even notice that. They're really trying to coerce Batware, aren't they, right now? Come on, come on, quickly. Sign right here. Huh? Oh god, Virgilia opened her eyes and I ate it. <laughs> Quickly! Sign. With slightly weird and uncomfortable smiles, the two of them started demanding that I sign. Anj? Um, at that time, an incredible sound like that of a glass window breaking reverberated through the hall, and the busting tumult felt faded back into complete silence. Huh? 
I dropped the quill pen and turned around, trying to see what had happened. What are you doing here already? I thought you appeared in the fourth game. When I did, where had she come from? A human who clearly hadn't been there a short while ago was in the very center of the hall, looking up at us. Who's that? A girl? She's probably about the same age as Jessica and me. But I didn't know that face. None of the other people here knew that face either. Who are you? Who is this? Where did you come from? Oh fuck, she's crazed. <laughs> Those without invitations are not needed at my party. Servants kick her out. As you command, surround her. Oh, they all want her dead. The Seven Sisters of Purgatory surrounded her from seven directions, taking out magic blades that drew purple curves and blocking her. What is Anj doing here? Oh, fuck. Even them. <laughs> and, out, and from out of nowhere, shuffling goat head servants appeared in great number numbers surrounding that girl. And the Chester Sisters too, of course. <laughs> On top of that, the Chester sister stood in front of Beata like a wall, readying a golden bow and pulling back the bowstring. Fuck, what kind of voice do I give to you? Like, high-pitched but calm, probably? But the girl didn't move at all. On the contrary, she was still staring at us on the landing, as though she didn't mind at all. Who was she looking at? Beato? Grandfather? Could it be... me? This is a new song. Yes, the girl was staring straight into my eyes, glaring. Then after our eyes met perfectly, she yelled. You mustn't sign that! Are you going to accept your own defeat? Don't be tricked by the witch! Huh? By the witch? Huh? At that time, something incredibly strong lifted me by the nape of my neck. What's going on? Oh, fuck. After being made to and after being made to turn around behind me, I saw Virgilia with an eerie smile on her face and the muscular forms of goat monsters. A goat monster that looked about two meters tall was grabbing me with an arm as thick as a log. <laughs> there is no need to listen to an uninvited guest. Come, offer your signature as well on this written oath. The Shromia Butler acknowledges the existence of witches. Come now, sign the written oath. Ow! 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 Damn it! Let me go! As the goat monsters held me down with the power of a vice, they forced me to grab the quill pen. I couldn't even touch the floor with my feet, much less resist. Batler, why are you resisting? Weren't you just about to sign willingly? Don't change your mind now after all that, okay? Didn't you think for an instant that it might be okay to acknowledge witches? You thought that, right? <laughs> I... I was... tricked? That's insane. Beto isn't that kind of... No, he just forgot what she's like. <laughs> Sorry, Battler, I am that kind of person. That's oh, useless now. That's my line. It looks like sentimental sob stories don't suit me. Teacher, I'm counting on you to use all your strength. That was such a plain role to play and I got so bored. They tricked him the entire third game. I don't know who you are, girl, but I'll beat you to death, mash you, and crush you until threads start trailing, okay? I'll make you regret being born a woman. <laughs> That's a weird line. I'll make you regret being born a woman. What are you going to make the goats do to her? <laughs> As Beata waved her gold pipe, the massive chandelier hanging in the hall was electrocuted, and from that, a terrible purple thunderbolt fell. Uh, it should have been a direct hit on the girl right below it, turning her to ash. However, not a single hair was singed. Oh. Anti-magic power, probably? Oh, so your sudden appearance here wasn't just a fluke. Tell me, state your name! I don't have any name to give you. More importantly... You idiot! How long are you going to be tricked? You softy! Figure it out already! This is all the witch's trap. I feel like I've already given her the same voice as Eva Beatrice. <laughs> Those words were aimed at me. This is all the witch's trap, she says? That can't be. Beato reformed and swore to become a good witch. Beato. All this about traps? It's a lie, right? Please, tell me it's a lie. 
sorry, Bachelor. It was pretty fun. Sure, I just did what teacher told me, but look how great it turned out. Apparently, if you start out all hostile and needlessly brutal, then turn incompetent and soft at just the right moment, you can spark a huge bump on your affection meter, right? I've heard villains who start all lovey-dovey and then freak the shit out are all the rage these days, right? <laughs> what the fuck? Even I've, even I've studied a bunch of those manga, anime, and gal, gal, gal gay? Gal gay, that's been so popular lately, you see? For you, just as expected. It was tears, please, and you're down. <laughs> Idiot. What a truly simple person. I'll call this the North Wind and the Sun strategy. <laughs> Didn't she talk about that before? That's not... D damn you. You bastard! How can you trick me? Yes, that expression suits you the most. That caring expression of yours doesn't really suit me after all. It made my back itch and I was frantically trying not to let it get to me. <laughs> What'd she even do to Eva Beatrice? Was she just there as a scapegoat the whole time? Too bad! Which is never reform. Star. <laughs> What's with the star? <laughs> you take care of the signature, teacher. This uninvited guest is my prey. Come, you can no longer refuse to sign. Come on, look. Sign it and offer you your body, your mind, and your soul. When Virgilia lifted her chin as a signal, the goat monsters, with an even more vice-like power, forced my arm to approach the parchment. Oh, fuck. Ah, these guys are trying to make me sign, even if it breaks my arm. Who did that? That's Shannon's shield, right? Then a bright red light burst open with me at the center, knocking the witches and the goat monsters away. Did that girl save me? Who in the world is that? I don't have a clue. Oh, it was her. How long do you plan to keep playing in a place like this? Give it a rest. I'm jealous of you. I'm glad you saved me, but that's a pretty cruel way to say it. Sorry, but who are you? Witch of Broken Jima, give him back. <laughs> Who would do that, you fool? Battler is my toy, my most favorite toy in the world. I won't get tired of him, I won't throw him away, and I won't hand him over to anyone. Even Battler is enjoying this to the fullest. Together with me, he is having so much fun playing. No matter who you are, I won't let you get in the way. Yeah, it looks like you're having a lot of fun. It makes me so jealous, it takes me off. Here you are, in a place like this, guffawing and having a loud, noisy time with everyone. With all these beautiful witches around to pamper you, you must be having so much fun that you don't even want to go back. Are you talking to me? Wait, wait, you've got the wrong idea. This is a pain for me, too. What do you mean, fun? You don't know what I've been through. What you've been through? You had fun living with Mom and Dad. You played around with all of the cousins, and you get to play with these wacky witches for all eternity. Don't you recognize the happiness you have? Can't you see how jealous I am of you all? So much that I wish I could join in too. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'll have to turn you down there. I am satisfied with the toy I have. A rude toy like you is not fitting for my toy box. Yes, I understand. Who would ever play with someone like you? But I will thank you just a little for letting me meet everyone like this. Who are you? Couldn't be. I see, is that it? Yes, I understand, I know who you are. I see. So you are the piece Lady Burncastle threw in. How amusing. I forgot Burncastle was on our side. I forgot about Burncastle. Why don't I formally invite you to my party? I'll welcome you fully. Along with Battler, I'll play nicely, break you, kill you, crush you, turn you to ash, mix you with bread dough, and bake you until you're fluffy. <laughs> useless. It's all useless. She's just a female battler. Like, literally. You can't do that. I'm the Rokanjima of 1986. I'll expose everything that happened to the light of day. I'll show you that before the truth. You're like an icicle scared of the coming spring. Prepare yourself, Golden Witch. Beatrice! What the fuck? What the Eh! There's some fucking... 
That felt more like a fucking finale than the other two, that's for sure. Holy shit. Like, that's some shit you should have thrown into a tea party. Cast. Beatrice. Can I speed this up at all? No. God damn it. <laughs> it's going so slow. Ushiro Mia Battler. Died on the ninth twilight. Oh, so this is the game record for the third game. Eva Beatrice. Yeah. No information. God damn, why... <laughs> Why is this so slow? Ushiromiya Ange, I knew it. I knew it was Ange. Where's Angie? Ange sounds better, because Angie reminds me too much of... Yeah! <laughs> Ushiromiya Kinzo, it's gonna say died on the first Twilight. Yeah. Uh... Ushiromiya Cross, we're going through everyone with this slow ass... Died on the seventh twilight, yeah. Okay. I mean I don't even need to read this. You... Alright, uh game three was interesting, but it felt way too easy. Game one was a lot more difficult because game three was mostly just Oh yeah, Eva had Oh, died on the tenth twilight. Okay, Jessica. Ushirumia Eva died on the tenth twilight. Return to life? Huh? Huh? Literally what? You are fucking with me right now. She she lived? Well, I guess if she was the culprit. Was there not a bomb this time then? Died on the ninth twilight, yeah. My god. No, but the tenth twilight is the bomb. So then she left the island. Huh. Well, shit, either way then, this game felt more simple than the first one, even. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Like, my god. Oh, what's with the fuzz? The dirt. Died on the second twilight. And there's... Oh, but there's still the servants that they're gonna go through. Shit, <laughs> we're not even nearly done. Maria, second twilight, yeah, okay. The first twilight's the hardest part, but they never... Oh. Oh, Nanjo does have another name. <laughs> Terumasa. Okay. Rono... Ronoue Genji. That sounds so goddamn similar to Ronove. I mean, I guess it's just a parallel with their names, but still. Shannon doesn't have a last name, I guess. She's just Shannon. And then Canon, and there will be Kumasawa. I don't know. If they'll show a name for her, they probably will. But yeah, the, since they never denied the possibility that George, his initial death was faked. And Gota Toshiro, I forgot about Gota. Huh. And that's Kumasawa Chio? Is that what that says? Yeah, Chio. Okay. They never denied the possibility that George's death was faked. And that Eva was never with Virgilia. Come on! Are you gonna go through all the stakes of Purgatory now? Are you gonna go through the Chester sisters? And Ronove, forgot about him. Burn Castle and Lambda Delta. Fucking hell. Th they are! <laughs> this is such a long credit sequence, are you kidding me? What the fuck? Yeah, Lucifer, Leviathan, Bell for Satan, who cares? My god. I get the point. Fucking such a long credit sequence, and I might just split this episode into two because it's like the first hour was just kind of defeating Eva Beatrice, and then this second 40 minutes, nearly so far, has just been that Golden Land stuff. So yeah, this. Is I would just upload this all at once if there wasn't a clear split to be made, and I don't want to upload an hour and 40 minutes of Umineko when I consistently try to upload no longer than an hour and 20, so yeah. And no shorter than 45 minutes. Chester 410. Of course, they're going through everyone. <laughs> and then 45, yep. Yeah. Is that everyone now? That's gotta be everyone. That's all the stakes, that's all those. Alright, no, there's still another! 
All the goats are. <laughs> okay, you got me there. That's funny. No burn in Lambda. No, nope, there's Lambda Delta. Fucking. Why is why is her name in a different font? And then there's gonna be Burn Castle. Yep, that should be everyone then, right? That's everybody, right? Is there a character that we don't know? Third game, fucking finally, Christ! Banquet of the Golden Witch results. Are you gonna? Are you going through the fucking list again, being like, this is everyone who died, and this is when they died? And the Golden Land once again crumbled away into the darkness. However, a winner finally emerged in the Golden Witch's game. So they actually did force her. The winner is the new Golden Witch, Eva Beatrice, because she solved the riddle of the Golden Time. Oh. The 17. Oh, died. Oh, okay, Eva. So Eva won. Okay. When the seagulls cried, just one person was left alive. Huh. Really weird. Ah, and... Oh yeah, because this is a PS3 ending. I forgot, this is the first time we're doing PS3. And that's the logo. Which looks a lot better than the logo in my thumbnails, but it's not like you'd be able to see much of it anyways. Okay. GG, Beatrice? Even though you completely fucked my mind at the end there. Seriously, never do that again. It's 6.30. I, record I started recording an hour and 40 minutes ago. I would like to eat, thanks. Is there more? Because if there's more, I might have to die. Okay, the new elements added. The Golden Witch has prepared a gift in commemoration of your recent sojourn. The new elements may be accessed from the title screen. Achievement unlocked Subasa. Oh, the icon there even shows Beatrice being evil next to the two, uh, Chester sisters. Interesting. Well, Chapter 3 is not entirely done yet, as there's still the Chapter 3 tea party, I'm assuming. Yep. And there will probably be one there, too. My god. That was a long two episodes, so... Uh, next episode, we'll do the tea party. So if you guys like this ep these episodes, be sure to press the like button on both of them. And if you didn't like it, fuck you too. Remember to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all my videos and stuff. And as always, my name is Godzi. And oh shit, fuck. I forgot. Oh, nope, they don't give the tips. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!